I'm Rachel Snow and I am a senior studying industrial engineering this year, about to graduate. I'm originally from North Carolina, but have been based out of Muncie, Indiana for the last six years. And I love being involved in undergraduate research. Ooh, I think a few things, uh, one of which is that my dad is a professor. So I had a little bit of exposure to academia before starting at Purdue and I knew that research would be interesting to me, but also I really enjoyed the technical aspects of my classes. And when I really connected with a professor, I felt like research was the best way to take it to the next step and go deeper in those interests that I wouldn't otherwise be able to explore in the same way and with the same kind of mentorship. So my first experience in um, in research here at Purdue was actually with Dr. Kai and I worked on her USMART lab for sustainability research and was essentially developing a computer program that would create a bike sustainability sharing model. So you can look at how bike sharing systems are able to impact the global emissions or how the emissions compare to other forms of transportation is the first project that I was working on. Uh, and I would say the most impactful or the most interesting research I've done so far has been in the complexity lab with Dr. Gonyi. Uh, I got involved in that because I was in his stochastic operations course and really enjoyed it. The operations research side of things just really clicked with me. And so when I was able to meet with him and discuss some of these things, I was always asking questions after class. And I ended up looking up his research just because I was curious and how I could use those things I was learning in class farther. And when I found out it was related to computational neuroscience, I decided I had to figure out what that was about. So I talked to him after class and got a spot in his lab and haven't looked back. I'm working with a lot of students who are older than me and there's so much to be gained from that. And I think that's one of the major reasons I was interested in undergraduate research at Purdue is that you're not just working with people who are in your same class or your same age. I had the opportunity, even my first time in research, to work um, under someone who was studying for their doctoral program. And then again, when I was starting research in the complexity lab, I was paired with my professor directly to research with him, which was incredible. And also another graduate student studying for their doctoral program. Right now in the lab, I'm the only undergraduate student. And at first that was a little bit intimidating, but then I realized I have so much to learn from the other people in my lab and just from the way that they think and the way that they're approaching their future, the way that they discuss whether or not they would like to become a professor, which is something that I'm also interested in. So hearing their thought process as someone who's farther along in the process, it's almost like an indirect mentorship and an academic setting. So I look up to them not only in what they're doing, but the way that they think and the way that they process their information about the world. My first time researching, I was working under a graduate student mentor named Hao, and he was very helpful for me, especially in that beginning stage of research, because I was coding in Python, which I had pretty little exposure to. So a lot of that beginning research for me was learning how to code, learning how to think, and understanding the logic of what I was doing more than even focusing on the actual bike systems that I was coding the system for, but understanding the logic of how to create a solution in general with code. And then getting access to a large database, learning how to process large amounts of data and learning how to use the supercomputers at Purdue in order to process that data that my computer could not handle. And so he was just very supportive with that, always answering my questions. And as I moved to the complexity lab that is perhaps a better fit for my personal interests, I was paired with Ming Tao and she has been really incredible in terms of providing me feedback for the things I should be looking into. But more than that, uh, the students that I'm working with right now in the lab are all researching very different areas and have a lot of expertise in these different areas. So what I found valuable that I didn't expect is that we will get together usually on Wednesdays and review journals together or look at what other researchers are doing. So for example, this last Wednesday, a visiting research came, researcher came 
and propose the work that she was doing. So we were able to look at that and talk about how each of their research fields were related, how we could perhaps change or tweak some of the things in that research to match our own design. And so that was what really excited me about this semester. As I'm getting to be more part of the lab community, I'm gaining an exposure not only to the specific project that I'm doing research in, but to the community that is doing work in this field. So I'm getting a broader background on what people do to research in this field and not just so specifically my project. And that's something that you don't really get, that depth combined with breadth. That's something that's very difficult to get in a course, especially if it's uh, someone lecturing at you instead of them giving you a problem and having to tackle it on your own, coming back saying, okay, this is what I have. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe it does. Getting feedback and moving on because that's what creation and innovation actually looks like.